Hey everybody, my name is C. I am the owner of CLM Custom Designs on Etsy. Welcome back if you've been here before and if you're new, welcome to our happy place. Come on in and take a seat and let's get ready for an experience. Would you like to learn how to make a customized umbrella? Very similar to, well, like the one you see here. Not the same design, but this is a customized umbrella. Well, that is what we are going to do today. We are going to make a custom umbrella. So get ready. So this one here is a bit smaller than the one that I showed you earlier because they do come in two different sizes. You're also going to need some alcohol and paper towels so that we can clean the inside of the umbrella. Make sure there's no oils or grease or anything on there. And we will need transfer paper to transfer the design. And just the design, which I've already cut out. I've already weeded. Um, all the designs, I typically, when I'm doing these, will do a four panel one. So I have four different designs. So let's start off by cleaning the inside of the umbrella, making sure that there's no oils on the inside. So give it a quick squirt of alcohol. We're just going to wipe that down with a paper towel. And then that way we will be starting with a clean surface. And again, remember I said I typically will use four designs unless the customer requests request more. So with that being the case, I will go ahead and put a design in every other spoke. Because there are eight sections on the umbrella. And so if I'm doing a four panel design, it will be one every other one. So first thing I need to do is get the transfer paper. We've talked about this before. I just use clear contact paper, which you can pick up from just about anywhere. Now, the thing is though, when you're printing these out, you have to make sure that you mirror these. Now we're not using heat transfer vinyl. I know you've talked, you heard me talk about before when you're putting Vinyl on a shirt, you mirror it. However, also when you're doing it on the umbrella, because the thing is you're not gonna apply it to the outside, you're gonna apply it to the inside of the umbrella. So therefore you have to mirror it so that when people are looking from the outside, the design is facing the right way. So we just go ahead and we, and you've seen this before, just simply put the contact paper on and peel it back. You've seen me do that a number of times. So that is just what I'm going to do. Peel this right off of there. And voila, it's on the transfer paper. And now we can go ahead and put it on the umbrella. Again, just check and make sure again that everything is dry. And you want to pick your point where you want to put um, the design at on the umbrella. I'm going to tilt you down so you can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, hopefully that is at a good angle for you. So what you want to do is kind of get it centered between the two spokes. The great thing about an umbrella is when it folds, when it's folded, it has these creases that kind of will let you know the center in between the two spokes. So that kind of makes it easier to place your design. Again, we've talked about before how we fold this design in half to find the center of the design itself. When you do that, you also get a little crease and that helps you with the positioning. So, Let's see, we are going to just kind of stick it here. Now you do have to make sure that there's no wrinkles when you stick it down, because you don't want to wrinkle underneath the vinyl. So we're going to rub it down, and we are going to peel back. And let's see, there was a, the S didn't want to come off, so we're just going to replace that down. So now, as you can see, we have one panel done. 
but I will show you everything completed when we have all four of these stuck down. I will be back to show you the complete design. Finished, I have uh, given my vinyl a little blast of heat. You know, I like to do that just to get that glue or adhesive on the back activated so it can get a really good stick. And we are all finished, so I'll give you a close up. There's one side, second side, the third side, and the fourth side. So now this is all completed, ready to go. I can fold it up with no problem. The vinyl's in there. And this will last a really, really long time. As a matter of fact, um, this is a repeat order. I had made the exact aim the exact same umbrella for a client. Oh, I'm gonna say probably ooh, a year ago, maybe nine months ago. Um, and just now it has gotten to the point because she uses it so much where some of the little pieces have started to come off. Um, so she requested the same exact umbrella. So of course I made it for her again. This one I have had probably, oh, because this was the very first one that I had done. So maybe a year and some change. Um, and this just says, I don't know if you can see it, Dance in the Rain. And it's got the lady dancing. And of course it's purple because you know it's mine and that's my color. So yeah, it's lasted a very, very long time. So I don't have these up on my website yet. I am going to put them up there shortly. I had to get new packaging in order to be able to ship them out. So I think I have finally secured that. So they will be going up on my website. Um, so I wanted to show you my shirt as I like to do with every video. It says big, middle, little. This is for my siblings. I am the middle one. So I made this for us when we uh, got together for a family photo shoot. So yeah, um, that was things that I made. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed yourself today. I hope you learned something. If so, please share this with someone else that you think can benefit from it. Also, hit that subscribe button. That really helps the sister out. Appreciate too much. Doesn't cost you anything. It's simply free. Hit the button. Also, the notification, and then that way you will not have to miss it anytime I drop a video, which technically you can find my new content every, my new content every Monday at 4.30. So until I see you again, be safe. Bye-bye.